Hi, Gail Foley here. I want to talk to you about attitude today. I was recently asked to host a call where I actually allowed people to introduce themselves, tell them where they're from on a trainer call. And I was also asked to provide a quote that was important to me. And so I did. I recorded a quote um, from Success by Ralph Waldo Emerson, which is one of my favorite quotes. But in my search, I came across something that was given to me a few years ago. And I just love it so much, I thought I would share it with you today. There once was a woman who woke up one morning, looked in the mirror, and noticed she had three hairs on her head. She says, wow, I think I'll braid my hair today. She did, and she had a wonderful day. The next day, she woke up, looked in the mirror, saw that she only had two hairs on her head, and went, hmm, I think I'll part my hair down the middle today. And she did and she had a grand day. The next day she woke up and looked in the mirror. No, she only had one hair on her head and went, I think I'll put my hair in a ponytail today. And she did. And she had a fun, fun day. The next morning she woke up and she looked in the mirror and she noticed she had not one single hair on her head. And she went, yay, I don't have to fix my hair today. Attitude is over and beyond everything. Be kinder than necessary, for everyone you meet is fighting some battle. Live simply, love generously, care deeply, speak kindly, and remember, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. And I just felt that everybody is being slammed with so many different things going on in our world. We know about the awful things going on in Japan, Hawaii, locally. Things are happening. People are dealing with things every single day that brings them down and causes them heartache. I challenge you today to make a difference in someone's life. It can be as simple as giving them a smile as they pass you by. Watch their shoulders lift up. Giving someone a hug that you know is struggling. Pay for someone's meal that you see is counting those pennies. Be a listening post for someone that just needs to be heard. Allow people to know that there is a way to dance in the rain. We all have to put things in perspective. We struggle, we struggle. We, we, you know, just moan and groan about our own perspectives and our own place, and we all do this, no matter where we're at in life. But you know, if you're complaining about your shoes being too tight, and then you notice someone walking by that doesn't even have feet, maybe you need to share those shoes with someone else and not worry so much about your shoes being tight. I'm Gail Foley, passing on a smile today. Please do the same. It's contagious, you know. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.